Hey, what's everybody? It's Tyrone Town here from StarStatement.tv, and we're here with my very dear friend, Jamie Monroy. No, no, Jamie, for the audience that does not know, first off, it's great to see you. <laughs> for those that don't know, tell the audience what brings you are today. It's pretty exciting. Well, I was asked that over here, what's a comedian doing and a TV host? I mean, first of all, any event that Tyrone Tan is at, oh, Star House yeah. Entertainment, you know, it's top notch. And so, it's a beautiful night in Hollywood. And um, listen, for comedians, when you're starting out, you're opening for a lot of entertainers and shows. Because I don't think there's a show if there's not dancing in it. You know, it's just a guy standing there or a girl's at. But um, so I opened for so many musical artists Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr. They all had dancers in their show, and Margaret. Then later, when I opened for Billy Idol here at, wow. at the Avalon, which is where we're at tonight, but back then it was called The Palace. Wow. Yeah. And um, as you probably know, you've been in show business since you were a kid too. So I have a great uh, appreciation and respect for dancers' choreography. Because, you know, I was telling somebody, it's kind of like the invisible script. Actors get their script, they know their character and what's going to happen, and choreographers have to hear the music and then make something up where the, where the dancers are going to go, how they're going to move, and what they're going to do. And so I, I, I'm here also su uh, supporting Anita Mann, who was our, um, our choreographer on my first professional TV show as a comic warming up on uh, Solid Gold. Wow. And we had the Solid Gold dancers. And, you know, it's just dancers, choreography, you know, it all just makes the world go around. And we do need the world to be a happier place. If everybody danced more, <laughs> I think it'd be a much happier place. Well, Not that I can dance. Do you dance? Not really. I can't. No, no. But, hey, uh, I'm Latino. I got a few moves. Look, but if not, I got the belt. Can you check out the belt here? Look at that. Okay, hang on. It goes with the watch. There we go. Okay, so at least... At least if, if I can't move, the bell can move for me. Well, really quickly, this show is about inspiring others. It's inspiring that you're here. We want to inspire those. What inspirational messages can you give us someone out there that wants to do what you do or follow their dreams in general? You know what? Get a job to finance the dream because you're going to need pictures, you're going to need classes, and you're going to need to finance yourself to success. That's a great part of uh, a great advice because at some point, even though we'll be working, you're working for free, I did open mics all over Hollywood and all over Southern California when I started, and it was for free to build up a nice three to five minutes and get seen, and I got seen eventually and made a regular at many of the top hom comedy clubs in Los Angeles, which eventually took me to Las Vegas and across the country, opening for the biggest stars in the world, including Michael Jackson, for three years, and we were friends the rest of his life. So part of all that journey was because I went out, I believed in my dream, but I knew I had to finance, at least even putting gas in the car. <laughs> well, God bless you. It's good seeing you again. This is Tyrone Tan with my dear friend, Jamie Monroy. And you're watching Star's Name It.